Carnegie, and I'm a librarian here at the Del Rapids Carnegie Public Library, and I'll be leading the STEAM camp this summer. Um, each week we'll be trying a fun different activity, and I hope you guys enjoy. To start things off, what is STEAM exactly? It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics, which sounds a lot like doing a school in the summer, right? But it's not. Whether you're designing the next iPhone, building a tower of Pringles to eat, or drawing a picture, you're using STEAM concepts. So today, we'll be making unpoppable CD bubbles. For this, you'll need an old CD that you don't use anymore. You'll need a screwdriver or something with a similar flat head. Um, I did use a needle nose pliers and it worked, but not as well as a screwdriver. A lighter or candle and adult supervision. Uh, younger kids will probably need mom or dad to do the part with the fire for them and then the kids can blow the bubbles. Remember, fire is very useful and we can do lots of good or fun things with it like making s'mores, but it can also be very dangerous so we have to be very careful when we use it. With all that said, let's get started. We'll start off by taking our CD and using this screwdriver or other flat surface to scrape off the aluminum covering on the front of the CD. This will take a couple minutes and you will make a mess. I don't know if you can see. It looks like little glitter coming off everywhere. And let me tell you, it acts like glitter. So it will stick to you. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get off every single piece, you know, but you wanna be able to see through it. So to see how you can see the tablecloth through it, the hands, that's how you know you're doing pretty good. So when that's done, you're gonna wanna clear it up. Like I said, you will get glitter everywhere. The clear plastic underneath right there is called polycarbonate, and it's a strong, firm material that's used for a whole bunch of different purposes, from windows to CDs to even some types of eyeglasses. It's a lot stronger than you think it was because, like so, it's not bending, it's not cracking. I mean, I tried to break a CD once and I tried stomping on it, I tried twisting it, and I couldn't do anything. So they're a lot stronger than they look. Next, making sure you have adult supervision, carefully use the flame to heat up the clear plastic. It doesn't really matter which side of the CD you use, just make sure your fingers don't get too close. And um, I have found that it works better if you heat up the plastic closer to this inner circle right there. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna heat it up. Just kind of like move it around in a little circle. Um, if you watch, you can see how the plastic like it takes a minute, but it starts to get kind of shiny, like a puddle. Not like, it's not gonna be super clear. There's still lots of scratches, but you just keep running it over. It'll take a couple minutes, but you can see the plastic is starting to bend and warp. So that's because this type of plastic is a thermoplastic. It melts in the heat. There's another type of plastic called thermosets, which you guessed it, does not melt. So if you can see, there's a little bubble forming. So let's see if it's ready. Woo! <laughs> that was a good one. So this one, you can get all different sizes. Uh, we had a couple failed attempts. So we had this one where the bubble blew out. You can see like straight through it. We've got this one, which is completely unpoppable. I'm tapping on it right now and it's not doing anything. That's because the plastic hardens very quickly once the source of heat is taken away. And then we've got this one, which didn't really become a bubble at all. So this part around here where it's all black, that's hot. So make sure you keep your fingers away from it because it will burn your fingers. Okay. So that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, it took several attempts to get here but if you want, you can experiment with it. See if you can make bigger bubbles, see if you can make smaller bubbles. Um, you can see if, you know, maybe try blowing a bubble on the edge, see if, see what kind of bubble that makes. Um, maybe try using less heat and see if you can make a smaller bubble. Um, just experiment with it and have fun. Uh, 
we had a lot of fun blowing these bubbles even if not all of them worked. So, um, these are unpoppable. Fun part, this one, it crinkles. But like there's still a bubble shape, it doesn't pop. So, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for joining us for our STEAM camp experiment today. We'll be doing several more experiments through the course of the summer. I hope you can join us next Monday at 10 a.m. See you then.